Minister Kam Kalmbauer, uh, first of all, thank you so much for presenting me with the Manfred Werner Medal. It's really a great honor uh, to receive this uh, medal and uh, also to receive it uh, uh, at this uh, very solemn and uh, honorful uh, ceremony. And thank you also for everything you do for uh, the NATO alliance and for your personal commitment to our alliance. And as you said, uh, your first visit uh, after you became uh, Minister of Defense was to Brussels. And I really appreciate the close cooperation you and I have established. And I admire your leadership, uh, your strong uh, commitment uh, to uh, NATO and to the transatlantic uh, uh, bond. So it is really a pleasure to uh, be working with you. And then, uh, Ambassador Ischinger, uh, thank you so much for uh, your kind words, uh, and also as usual, usual as always, for your thought-provoking uh, uh, remarks. Uh, it is an honor to receive this uh, award, uh, because it is a very sp special group of people that uh, have uh, received this uh, award before me. Uh, people like uh, Richard Holbrook, the very first recipient, Javier Solana, as you mentioned, one of my predecessors uh, in NATO, and then, of course, you yourself, Wolfgang. So uh, that makes it even greater for me to receive this uh, uh, award. Um, this medal recognizes outstanding contributions to peace and freedom. So I am particularly honored to achieve uh, and to accept this award as we celebrate the 70th anniversary of uh, NATO. In just a few days, we will also commemorate 30 years since the fall of the Berlin Wall. And as we stand here tonight in Berlin, at the intersection between what was East and what was West, it is hard to underestimate how profoundly these two events shaped Europe's history. This medal is given in memory of one of my predecessors, Manfred Werner. From the moment I stepped into office as Secretary General of NATO, I knew I was standing on the shoulders of giants. And Manfred Werner, Werner was one of those giants. A passionate visionary and a committed multilateralist. He helped to steer Europe and our alliance through a period of momentous change. With our first German Secretary General in NATO at uh, uh, the fall uh, of the Berlin Wall, we truly had the right leader in the right job at the right time. So moved was Manfred Werner by the winds of change that swept through Berlin that night that he jumped into his car and left Brussels without telling anyone. Colleagues in NATO only discovered his whereabouts when uh, they saw him standing side by side with Foreign Minister Hans Dietrich Genscher on German TV. After the fall of the Berlin Wall, Manfred Werner was instrumental in ensuring uh, NATO extended the hand of friendship to Central and Eastern Europe, paving the way for those new democracies to join our family of free nations following their sovereign decisions. And he was the first NATO Secretary General ever to cross Moscow's Red Square, at the time of great optimism that we could walk a new path together with Russia. Then, when war ravaged the Western Balkans, Manfred Werner was determined that NATO should act to end the bloodshed and atrocities, a responsibility he felt deeply and personally. So much so that even while fighting cancer in 1994, he shared a meeting of NATO allies attached to a drip to lead discussions on NATO's first ever combat mission uh, beyond our borders in Bosnia and Herzegovina. To this day, NATO supports peace and stability in the Western Balkans, in particular through our KFOR mission, 
In Kosovo, Germany plays an important uh, role. Germany contributes uh, to European and transatlantic security in many other ways. It leads NATO's multinational battle group in Lithuania. It is the second largest contributor to our training mission in Afghanistan. And it supports uh, NATO's other missions and activities, including our maritime operations. Next spring, Germany will be the logistic hub for the United States Defender 2020 exercise, the largest deployment of US-based forces to Europe uh, for an exercise in 25 years. A clear demonstration of the United States ironclad commitment to NATO and to the defense of Europe. And of Germany's importance at the heart of our collective defense. NATO has been the bedrock of German security for over 60 years, alongside the European Union. NATO is a fundamental pillar of the rules-based order that has ensured unprecedented peace and prosperity in Europe. In 1955, we welcomed Germany, West Germany into NATO, the NATO family. This was a remarkable display of trust just 10 years after the end of World War II. Trust that Germany has proven more than worthy of. And this paved the way for a democratic, united Germany to regain its place on the global stage. So Germany knows how important friends and allies are, how important the bond between Europe and North America is, and how important strong multilateral institutions continue to be. For what can be more multilateral than sharing the responsibilities of keeping our one billion citizens safe? All for one and one for all. Six months after the fall of the Berlin Wall, Manfred Werner said, without the Atlantic Alliance, there can be no cohesion and no unity throughout the free world. No transatlantic partnership, no security and no stability. This is as true today as it was 30 years ago and indeed 70 years ago. We cannot take peace and democracy for granted. We must invest in them every single day. So in honor of Manfred Werner, in celebration of NATO, and in the continued service of peace and freedom, thank you again for honoring me with this award. Thank you so much.